I'd say I'm a pretty agreeable person, but I've come to realize as of late how suffocating of a disposition that really is. And so I'm gonna take you through my journey of how I discovered how to say no, uh, and how the famous psychologist Jordan Peterson taught me a lot of ideas um, that helped me with that mindset. If you ask a disagreeable person what, what he wants, say, or she wants, they'll tell you right away. They, they know, it's like, this is what I want and this is how I'm gonna get it. But agreeable people, especially if they're really agreeable, are so agreeable that they often don't even know what they want. Because they're so accustomed to living for other people and to finding out what other people want and to trying to make them comfortable and so forth that it's harder for them to find a sense of their own desires as they move through life. There's situations where that's advantageous, but it's certainly not advantageous if you're going to try to uh, forge yourself a career. If you find yourself in that situation, um, not drowning, but not being able to say no, there's three questions you should you should ask yourself. How did I get here? Who is benefiting from this situation? How do I get out? In the beginning of 2018, I began to say yes to nearly every project that came my way. Big or small, didn't matter. I said yes to it. We need your weekdays for these graphic projects. Can you do it? Yes. Can you book out these next 25 Saturdays for weddings? Yes. When can you shoot me some music videos? Sundays. When can I have that edit back? One week from today. Oh wait, I agreed to do graphic projects during the day. I guess I have to do all my editing at night. That makes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, morning till night, dealing with the consequence of my habitual yes. Like I'm doing the same types of project. I'm not like advancing. I'm not like getting really busy because I'm taking on bigger things. This has nothing to do with me like working harder towards a goal. This is a much different problem. Let's take this all the way back to when we were kids. We meet the approval of mom and dad, and we get that good feeling. And as we continue with this behavior, and as we continue to uh, meet the approval of other people, we continue to get that good feeling. And we realize something. The better we make other people feel, the better we feel about ourselves. Eventually what happens is that intrinsic value we saw inside of us moves to a value placed on us by other people and therefore we need their approval. Then we just think to ourselves, life is simpler, it's easier, just do what others expect me to do. Easier, simpler. And my experience clinically has been that agreeable people, the consequence of their compliance is that they tend to be resentful. Because just because you're agreeable and compliant doesn't mean that at some level of your psyche, you're not interested in a fair deal. He said agreeable people tend to become resentful. That is true. You know, you have that initial rush of endorphins when you say yes, you know, and they're satisfied with you. You're satisfied with, with yourself for, for meeting their expectations. But later on, when you're fulfilling that request and everything else you wish you hadn't said yes to, all you can feel is resentment. Didn't they know how busy you were? Didn't they know how much you don't want to do this? And then you end up resenting yourself for not being able to say no. You do a half-assed project because you didn't want to do it in the first place, you're burnt out, and they're not satisfied, then your work begins to suffer, and eventually you start resenting your work, and they begin to resent you because you didn't follow through with your word. So, to answer the question, who benefits from this situation? Nobody. I mentioned before that a lot of times my sense of agreeableness tends to come from a value judgment I place on myself based on the perception of others. You know, there's a lot of ways we can combat that mindset. Um, have a higher self-esteem, you know, believe in yourself, believe you're worth it, right? 
there's no lasting impact to just changing your mindset in that way. But there is a lasting impact in changing your mindset in another way. There's a problem with the measurement of self-esteem. And that actually matters because self-esteem is a psychological concept, a scientific concept if you like, and you have to get the measurement right. And you can predict self-esteem almost perfectly by measuring someone's extroversion and subtracting from that their negative emotionality or neuroticism. So people who are extroverted, who feel a lot of positive emotion, and who, are, and who don't feel a lot of negative emotion, score high on scales of self-esteem. Okay, so conceptually, it's a non-starter because you're not going to move people's levels of neuroticism, let's say, by trying to get them to feel good about themselves. It isn't how you feel about yourself, right? It's how you act effectively in the world. Now, this is a transformational idea. He's saying that people who believe that the work they're doing has impact, um, that they're here for a reason on earth, you know, and that the work they're accomplishing has meaning, those people tend to be the most powerful negotiators who know how to say no. You know why? You know what they had that I didn't? Uh, they had something else they had already said yes to. And to them, having already said that yes, enabled them to say no to, to all those other projects that they didn't want to do. You can't negotiate with anyone unless you can say no. And you can't say no unless you've set yourself up with alternatives. Now, I'm still learning and discovering a lot of these concepts. Um, this is fairly new ground for me. Um, like, I can't say no to something unless there's something bigger I have already said yes to. Uh, something that brings me value and I feel brings value to the people around me. And to some degree, that's what this channel has become. Um, I'm kind of floored by how the response I've gotten in a lot of these videos and how people have been affected by them in a positive way. And because of that, there's been a lot of projects that have popped up in my inbox that I've been able to say no to um, because I decided, uh, you know, there was something I had already said yes to. So, you should subscribe. I'm going to keep making videos every Thursday, uh, kind of exploring, I don't know, the human condition. Um, and uh, subscribe, hit the like button. I love you guys. See you next week.